what's up everyone welcome to my stream here you can also check me out on YouTube under Masri Arcade and definitely if you like this type of content follow my my twitch here follow my YouTube it really helps out appreciate it Ooh, perfect. Whenever it comes to Call of Duty, you're pretty much only ever going to see me play free-for-all. It's really the only mode I really care for in this game. I'll play some of the other ones. Like, I'll play some of the some of the bigger team battle maps or whatever with my son. But for the most part, free-for-all is like my main, main appeal to Call of Duty. Especially, too, like these are all the old Modern Warfare 2 maps. So to me, this was like the peak Call of Duty maps. Turns out though, I'm not too great at them as what it's looking like. Skid Row is a classic map. I like this map. Some of them I don't feel aged as well, even though I do have a fondness for them. But Skid Row to me is a great, great map overall. I like that you can use some of the features from the newer Call of Duties on basically an older type of Call of Duties map type and, and game style. So that makes sense. Okay, maybe I take that back with those bombs, but whatever. Come on, man. Sounds like I heard someone there. Okay. Come on. It's my fault for camp. So I'm trying to figure out with this gun, like it's seems pretty well rounded, but I still feel like I'm not able to to kill as quick as I want to. And I don't know if it's my configuration or what, but I also try to balance out my speed as well as accuracy, especially some of the newer play styles of Call of Duty. I, I miss the days when you could just upgrade your gun rapid fire and it became overpowered. That was kind of the top tier type of Call of Duty I remember. Back in the old 2009 Modern Warfare. Oh my, just shit like that though drives me insane. Okay. So. See that gun is pretty decent close up, but far range is kind of garbage. Nice. I doubt that guy saw me. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but nice. Come on, see like I don't know what gun he's using that he's able to kill that much better. Those fucking bombs again. That's my fault, I shouldn't pay attention.
I actually barely ever use this thing. I have no clue what that thing even does. Come on, that was point blank at that guy's head. Usually there's someone kind of camping out around here. It's not. There's always someone kind of lurking in these corners here. Where did my knife go? Okay. Sounds like those are being fired at me. Guess not. Where oh, yeah, is this guy? I don't think that was him, though. Hiding up and down those stairs. Okay, you saw me top three. Drives me nuts to open on number one free for all. Kind of like the back one. If you weren't number one, you didn't even rank us having a victory there. One thing with this though, I won't really play some of these larger free-for-all maps. They don't really do it for me in this game. Just some of the way they're even set up, I'm not a huge fan. So like Favela Underpass, don't really do it for me. Let's see what else we got going on. Rust is obviously a classic. I can't wait till they do the 24-7 Rust. What I'm trying to figure out too is this challenges. I don't really understand. Not Scrapper is a classic map, but yeah, I'm not really fully understand how that even works. Like I'm not sure. You select an armory unlock or something. I, I'm not. I'm not getting it. Okay, let's go with Scrapyard. Uh 
This to me is probably one of the best of the classic ones. Just the perfect size, perfect amount of areas to kind of duck cover and hide. Where did that go? Oh, come on. It's looking right in the wrong spots. This is probably right here. So that gun's great up close. Far away, not the greatest. There's probably some nice additions you can add to it to make it more stable for distance. But great secondary gun if you're up close or close enough. Okay. Oh. This gun's good, but the range is just a little low. I also play for a lot of speed, too. Oh, almost caught me with the knife. That was a knife out of the knife. You did it. Where's this guy shooting from? Oh, just off there. Oh, there was a guy behind me. I was. Another guy here. I'd have heard someone down. Yeah, I did. Yep. Got fucked up because I didn't go fast enough. Fuck sakes. Where did that guy shoot from? Oh, I was hoping I could heal by the time I got back. <laughs> Fuck sakes. I will say this headset's pretty solid. Like, I definitely heard the footstep, but I just didn't respond quick enough. I've used, I used the original, like, stereo headset on this. It was not the same experience at all. So this is definitely... Like a huge step up. Oh. Ooh, just like two more bullets more that guy would have been done. Come on. I will say some of the ways this game spawns you are probably not the most fair. You spawn right beside someone who doesn't even know where you Oof. Oof. How did I almost miss that? Oh, that would have been sweet to have shot him through the vent. Oh, 
But I thought I had like the nice, perfect angle there to get him. I guess not. Oof. Oh, where is he? I love the, the healing feature to get your guy back up to put, like snuff. That's a definitely a modern COD feature that I'm a huge fan of. <laughs> Come on. Try this thing. I don't even know what it does. To like put a drone around or something? I don't even. That thing's goddamn useless. Oh, I got too, got too spooked. Pretty cool. I think. 